Today I'm going to talk about this piece of research that I'm, you know, been carrying out with this fantastic group of colleagues, Vincenzo, Jessica, and Roberto. Uh, and, and, and the study is uh, trying to assess the impact of a peacekeeping mission on reproductive behavior. Um, I mean, we know from, uh, from the literature that, you know, uh, armed conflict or exposure to violence have uh, important implications for uh, long-term uh, uh, decisions, and including fertility rate. Um, uh, there is extant research showing that, uh, you know, fertility rates are important also for uh, uh, long-term outcomes and long-term development. Uh, because they can, you know, uh, uh, try um, can exacerbate higher fertility rate can exacerbate uh, population growth or environmental threats. It can also pose health risk, and, and there is also evidence that is, you know, uh, are associated with low education and poor economic growth. Um, there is a, again from the literature, um, um, you know, very large evidence showing the impact of conflict on fertility rate. And what we, you know, we know so far is that we might have some sort of uh, negative or positive, you know, effect. And you know, basically, we should expect to have a positive effect of conflict, so you know, increasing fertility rate, because in in, in that particular, you know, conflict area, uh, women are uh, share the same characteristics as the, uh, you know, uh, population that are associated. With, uh, with the higher fertility rate. So what I'm talking about is that, you know, you have, you might have uh, women, you know, with low educational background, uh, with low educational level, sorry, uh, with, that they use low contraception use because there is no lack of health services. Uh, uh, but also there is the desire to replace children lost to conflict. Um, on the other hand, we also have some other strands of the literature showing that conflict affect uh, uh, negatively, the fertility rate, and this is basically because uh, individuals tends to postpone childbearing in the you know, expectation of better, uh, better times. So there is a sort of quality quantity trade-off, right? Um, now, given that conflict are short-lived in general, and they are followed by a prolonged period of peace. Uh, I think it is going to be very interesting to to see how you know the dynamics of um, uh, fertility rate uh, varies in uh, uh, you know during uh, uh, during peace and especially when you know um, uh, you know the conflict is settled and then there is you know a peace is being kept by uh, uh, for instance um, um, UN peacekeeping operation. Um, so. Um, in, there is uh, also, uh, you know, sort of um, evidence showing that peacekeeping, besides the impact of uh, reducing violence in ongoing wars and reducing the probability of conflict recurrence, has also important social and economic implication. Um, um, the, um, in, in a recent paper of mine, we show that it improves household well-being, and, and basically because by, you know, uh, um, providing security, uh, you know, peacekeeping can try to uh, revitalize the economic activities so that it increase, uh, you know, consumption and also increase labor market participation. Um, there is also, you know, um, evidence that uh, peacekeeping affect uh, uh, um, maternal health by increasing maternal health and also women access to service and education. In this paper, we actually we are going to, uh, as I said, to uh, to look at the impact of uh, peacekeeping on fertility rate, and we are going to focus on on a particular case, which is the Liberia. Um, why we choose the Liberia? Actually, this is, um, to be honest, is a sort of a pilot project. So the idea is to uh, scale up to all relevant African countries or relevant uh, UN peacekeeping mission. But we start from Liberia because Liberia is one case where, you know, uh, we have a, um, you know, peacekeeping operation lasting for 15 years and, you know, the sort of operation that has been, 
you know, labeled as such as successful. Mm? And also because Liberia has the, one of the highest fertility rates. And then in order to address the research question, we uh, use data from the DHS survey, uh, so the dem demographic and health survey, uh, from the three different uh, waves, 2007, 2013, and 2019. And then, I mean, I will be more uh, precise on this uh, in, a, in a bit. Uh, the main outcome variable, so the dependent variable we are looking at are uh, the likelihood to have a child and also the number of, of children. Mm. Um, Liberia, Liberia, Liberia is also important because the, um, uh, um, you know, um, peacekeeping operation, the mandate of, of the peacekeeping mission in Liberia was not only to uh, you know, provide security, but also to uh, trying to assist, uh, uh, you know, locals and, uh, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, making a partnership with local organization and international organization in order to improve, you know, condition of local or local population. So in a sense, uh, you know, they lay uh, the, the groundwork, the groundwork for, uh, for, uh, uh, you know, provision of, of public goods, including including uh, medical services. So, as I was saying, I mean, we use three rounds of the Liberian DHS, and then from from that uh, uh, data sources, we construct the full birth histories of women, so that we are able to trace all children women have have ever given birth in the years before and after the UN arrival. Mm? Um, we use, uh, we, we, we couple this information with uh, um, uh, geocoded information of a peacekeeping location thanks to this fantastic paper from SEAL and, and co-authors that, you know, they geolocate uh, the uh, um, UN um, peacekeeping, peacekeeper uh, uh, in, uh, in, in a number of, of different countries. And, and so what we do basically is to combine the information from the geolocal, uh, you know, the, the information on the locality of peacekeepers with the locality of uh, district or villages where the uh, survey was, was run in order to construct our, you know, treatment, if you want, or exposure, exposure variable, which is basically, you know, the um, 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 exact exposure to uh, peacekeeping, uh, peacekeeping base. And then, given that during the period we are looking at, you know, the, the, um, uh, the mission moved across country, we are also able to uh, track, uh, you know, precisely the movement of, 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 these, of these peacekeepers. Mm? Uh, I mean, this is just a map of Liberia, and then what is shown here is that you have the black dots, which are the locality of uh, peacekeeping base, and then there are some, uh, you know, dashed yellow lines, which are the uh, road networks. Um, why I'm showing this? Because instead of you know constructing our exposure variable in terms of uh, cluster, I mean the cluster that the DHS provide, I mean we construct a more precise measure of uh, exposure which is based on the road distance. Okay, so uh, basically what we are able to do is to exactly you know measure the length between the uh, women surveyed and so interviewed, and then the uh, PK base. And there is one advantage of using this, this method instead of just you know, selecting the DHS cluster, is that it might be, if you look at the right-hand side of, of these slides, it might be that you know, um, um, if we were to consider just the cluster, uh, we would omit the information of women that are equally distant from the base, but are outside the cluster. So in a sense, this is sort of improvement on the treatment variable. And then, I mean, these are the main results. I'm not going to show you all the results we, we produce, but uh, these are the results that are also robust to a number of, uh, you know, sensitivity checks. What we found is that where UN troops are deployed, uh, we have that the likelihood of having a child drops by five percentage points, which, you know, amounts to 6% of, of the mean. Then the second result is on the number of children, and so we find that the total number of children uh, per woman declines by 25%, which is equal to the 30% of, of the mean. And also we, we find some important uh, heterogeneity, 
especially in particular, we find that these effects are more pronounced, uh, sorry, the effect of the number of children are more pronounced on, uh, on older uh, cohorts, which makes sense, on uh, women with higher parity level, so it means that they have more than one child, and also on, on married, in, uh, married women. Then we're trying to provide an explanation from these results, okay? And this is our basically the, you know, sort of uh, uh, mechanism that we, we, we are able to test in this paper. Uh, actually, I would say that these are suggestive evidence. Uh, it's just correlation of a number of indicators with the uh, peacekeeping exposure. And then we, we consider two main channels, which are, you know, the Im improvement in maternal health and child children outcomes. Uh, if you want, this is, you know, it's square within the quantity uh, quality trade-off, uh, which, which is measured by uh, this indicator here, the number of antenatal visits, the absorption of iron, iron during pregnancy, the birth weight, the number of postnatal checks, the uh, number of, of, of children dead under five, dead under five, and then, you know, delivery uh, at home or if you want at hospital. And then the second channel is on the opportunity cost. So the opportunity cost of raising, of raising uh, children. And then we're trying to measure uh, the second channel by the, you know, an indicator that we show there. Then what we find is that there is evidence, or if you want suggestive evidence, on the first channel, so on the quality quantity trade-off, then you can see the arrow means this positive effect uh, um, on um, uh, exposure to peacekeeping to this number of indicator, while on the opportunity cost channel, we only find significant effect on the contraception use. So basically, what is the, all the, the implication of all of that? Very briefly, that peacekeeping deployment, uh, in addition to uh, you know, improving local security, I'm done, uh, can support better and, and more informed family planning. So by increasing you know, the maternal health and child, children uh, health, but also uh, you know, uh, um, you know, trying to, uh, to plan better the, um, um, you know, the um, family, yeah, and that's, that's all for me, okay, thank you.